Evening everybody, um, I'm extremely grateful to report that uh, I fin finally managed to uh, get this 2.2 inch LCD TFT display running off my ESP8266 um, I will have all the details in the description below, the libraries that are used the pin configuration and there's a little file that you need to specify your DC and your SCS pins um, but I'll give you all the details. Now you might notice straight away that uh, I've met, I had to use all these caps uh, but after all uh, it was not a power supply issue uh, that caused me uh, a lot of headache to get the display working um, it was in fact this ribbon cable here now when I ordered it off China, I'm pretty sure it seemed pretty much intact, but clearly it wasn't very happy. If I the screen is slightly loose, it's just lightly set in this white plasticky thing. And um, yeah, I mean, if I move it, then I get all sorts of funnies happening with the display. That being said, now I've got the, the caps in there and I might as well be using it. So the one thing there seems to be a, a bit of a misconception and a miss or a miss uh, hit and miss situation about the power supply on these little things. So we all know that the ESP runs off 3.3 uh, volt and that's why there's a nice voltage regulator with some the biggest uh, surface mount uh, caps that I've seen in a long time. Nonetheless there is this one 5 volt pin available directly from the USB and that 5.5 of oh, 5 volts is definitely required to run this display off it just doesn't run off 3.3 and then uh, the LED pin which is on the far left here I'm actually just running for fun of this uh, battery power supply that I recently built and uh, I mean as you can see it only requires a mere 1.7 volts so, the library that I downloaded has got this uh, nice uh, matrix demo, which is quite, quite funky. And uh, yeah, and there it goes. So I'm extremely happy, grateful that I've uh, got this display finally running, uh, using the SPI hardware pins there on the D6 and D7, uh, correction, that is D5 and D7. There's also a mozzie pin that you could actually use a D6, uh, but it's not required. And uh, then for the eagle eyed, uh, on the silk screen on this uh, little Node MCU board, uh, I managed to get no D1 pin, but actually two D2s. You will see there's D0, D2, D2, D3, etc, etc. So, uh, nonetheless, all the fun and games, I will supply all the details as I stated. And uh, my next mission would be to finally get uh, the 1.8 inch working now as well. Now that I know the hardware pins are actually working. Alright, have fun. Um, I'll check you next time. Bye-bye.